I'm here at the Nikkei Art Gallery in Lekki, Lagos, where some of Africa's finest pieces of contemporary art are displayed. I'm getting a personal tour today by the proprietress herself. Let's go inside. Thank you. It's beautiful. Thank like you. Like a piece of art in motion. Thank you. Nike Davies Okundaye, an inspiration to many, was bubbly and refreshing. So all the art here is done by Nigeria. I'm going to start you with Dudu Imanen, who always like to do the happy hours, which we call Owambe. As we walked around, it was interesting to see not only paintings, but three floors of sculpture, as well as some amazing jewelry. A lot of these pieces are antiques, some up to a hundred years old. Beaded, heavy, ornate bronze pieces, statement jewelry, some of which I wore today. Mama Nike, as she's known, showed me some of her own work. Elaborate, intricate beaded pieces, which represent months of concentrated work. The Chibok Schoolgirls, a tribute to the children stolen by indigenous terrorists. I've been told that you're an excellent cook and I know today you promised to do some cooking with me. Is that so? Yes, we are going to be cooking a dikaiko, pounded de jam, and food is art. Food itself is art. And there is a special yummy, 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 yummy in the food you are cooking today. Much more uplifting was the promise of eating some of Mama Nika's own home-cooked food today. So it was off to the outdoor garden. We're on our way to your outdoor kitchen. Yes, all right. So we are going to be cooking under the palm tree. And this palm tree, you actually get some palm on them, you see? Please watch your head because you are tall. And the palm tree, I don't want the palm tree to damage your hair. Out of nowhere, helpers began All to right. gather in this Everything amazing kitchen. And I quickly realized that my position was to be that of an observer only. And Mama Nike was the director of operations. We were to have an appetizer called asaru. First peeled and cut fresh yam was put into a bath of water and palm oil. You can see right now the oil is separated while the yam is separated. But by the time we finish, everything we enter. Onion, pepper, tomato and salt added to this and was left to boil until soft. Some of the yam is smashed and added to create a thick sauce which clings to the rest of the yam. By now, people who came to visit the gallery drew closer it was probably the amazing smell. There was yam inspection. Mm. So the pie bar is very good. You want to try some? <laughs> and quality control. And finally, the asaru was ready. Yay! The asaru is ready! We were all serenaded into a quaint eating nook by Mama Nike to enjoy the asaru together. Yes, I think it's a 
thanksgiving and appreciation shown, we all dug in. Mm, let me take a big one. Mm, you test it. Mm, test it. Mm, mm, this is good. Mm, 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 mm. That's the problem. That's the problem. Mm-hmm. Mm. 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 We need more water. Palm oil? Mm. 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 Yes, our palm oil is very rich. Mm -hmm. don't, don't miss out on it. Come closer. Mm -hmm. We ate and ate and ate. The next dish was to be both healthy and hearty, a vegetable dish called edikaniko. Edikaniko, it hails from the south-south region of Nigeria. It was to be accompanied by pounded yam. So more yam is peeled and boiled in an enamel pot. These ingredients are quite interesting from the land and sea. Cow skin, thick and resilient, dry smoked fish, sea periwinkles removed from their shells, fermented locust beans with a powerful aroma, and two types of leaves, ugu and water leaf. The leaves are all picked one by one meticulously by hand. They're washed, packed tightly together, and then cut with slim precision. The smoked fish goes into the pot first. Then cow skin is washed, scraped, and cut into little pieces and added. The periwinkles and locust beans are sprinkled into the pot. Now a little salt, and it's all left to steam away. Yam will be pounded in this mortar with a pounding stick by two people. Once the yam is ready, it's removed and transferred to the mortar, and the pounding begins. Mama Nike was hands-on with this one. A quick tutorial before handing over to the boys. You can see how the molecules change and form long chains and a sticky consistency starts to form. See this one? As you see this pounded yam, before we open our eyes, it's going to be hard. So by the time the soup is ready, the pounded yam will be ready. So under her watchful eye, the pounded yam was ready and removed hot. Not a gram was spared. Everything. Back at the steam pot, the fish was separated from bone. In another heated pot, palm oil is added, and then onions. A beautiful peppery, oniony emulsion starts to happen. And then in goes the water leaf. Water leaf adds moisture to the mix, so there's no need to add water to this dish. Now the ugu is added, a rich dark leaf.
the steamed ingredients are put in and the stock water. Everything is thoroughly mixed. A generous amount of ground crayfish goes in as well for extra punch and this is stirred into the mix. It was all coming together beautifully. Now time to let it go for a while. Antinika has just invited us to table now to taste the beautiful Edikanko soup that she's been making with pounded yam. I'm very excited to see how this turned out and to taste it. Wow, I've been anticipating this for the past one hour. There's the Edikanko and there is the pounded yam. This was to be a hands-on affair. Now it was time to swallow. Ah. It was all hands on deck. How do you find it? Uh, pound idiom is found everywhere in Nigeria. It's a delicacy served in every part of Nigeria with the Yoruba, with the Igbos and also some parts of the north. Uh, we all take pounded yam. Everywhere it is taken, it's always a delicacy. The whole family relaxed to a bowl of pounded yam and a sumptuous uh, soup like this every time. So, oh, mouths were working. And now it was time to say farewell on a very high note. Mm, that's finger licking good. So thank you very much for having us today, cooking this food for us today. And to everyone, it's goodbye from Food Journey. See you next time. <laughs>